So in this exercise, we will check if a user entered year is a leap year or not. So we all know that a leap year comes every four years, but there are other criteria. So let's go over the criteria first. A leap year should be divisible by four and not by 100. So the year 100 itself is not a leap year. The year 200 is also not a leap year. Or if this criteria fails, our year should be divisible by 400. So the year 400 is a leap year. The year 800 is also a leap year. So yeah, let's see how we can do this. Also, we will be using functions, user inputs, and f strings. And as you might have noticed, we are using f strings in literally every of the uh, exercises here. So this is a very useful tool. So let's start. First, let's create a function and let's call it is leap year. And let's pass a year to it. And we add these two conditions. So what we do is we check if year modulus 4 equals to equals to 0 and year modulus 100 is not equals to 0. So this is the first condition. Should be divisible by 4 and not by 100. So year should be divisible by 4 and not by 100. So as you might have known by now, this modulus operator checks the remainder. So if the remainder when dividing by 4 is 0, it means that it can be divided by 4. And if the remainder is not equals to zero when dividing by 100, this criteria will be true. So what we're checking is we are checking this or the second one that is divisible by 400. So what we do is we check if our year modulus 400 equals to equals to zero. So we have our two conditions here. If this is the case, if this matches, that is the first one, or if this matches, that is the second criteria, what we do is we return true. Else, we return false. So now that we have our function ready, let's take user input and let's use this. So let's say user year equals to input, enter year here, and let's say our output will be okay so let's again add a condition and let's check if is leap year we pass integer because we are doing mathematical option here we will convert our user year to integer and if true is returned what we will write we will write print again we'll use f strings we'll write user year is a leap here. Else, what we'll do is we'll print user here is not a leap here. So we have used f strings here, and by now you are pretty clear, I guess, what f strings are. Let's run this and let's see what happens. let's say year 1900 1900 is not a leer year <laughs> okay let me just fix this it's not a leap year so do you remember what was the last leap year i think it was 2012 so 2012 is a leap year let's run this again if 2012 was a leap year sorry let's run this without debugging if 2012 was a leap year then 2026 should also be a leap year, right? 2016, not 2026. Yes, 2016 is also a leap year. Let's add a multiple of 100. Let's say, okay, let's say year, the year 2000. So I think the year 2000 was divisible by four, but it's also divisible by 400, it seems. What about 2100? So 2100 is not a leap year. I think 2100 is divisible by four, is it not? So if it is divisible by 400 and it is not a leap year, it means that it is not, it is also divisible by 100. So yeah, this is how you can check if a year is leap year. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.